Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make a simple hot cocoa bomb. Um, we really only need a few ingredients for it. So I have a sphere mold here. This is a smaller size than what most people use, but this is all I had on hand. Um, you can also do different shapes like hearts or, I mean, really any shape that you have. As long as it has a pretty deep cavity so you can fill it in with hot cocoa mix and whatever other mixings you want. I also have mini marshmallows. I have abuelita chocolate. What you're gonna need to do is pulverize it. So I just threw mine into my Ninja Blender and I just turned it on for about 30 seconds until it was completely powder. I also have just a regular hot cocoa mix right here. And then we're gonna need chocolate. So you can use dark milk, white chocolate, any chocolate that you prefer. So to get started, we need to heat this chocolate until it's completely melted. Okay, so I have my chocolate all melted down. With the hot cocoa bombs, you don't want the shell to be too thick, just because you don't want it to take forever to melt um, once you pour the hot milk in it or whatever liquid you're using. So we're only gonna do one coat for these. And after you fill it in, then just take something flat, I'm just using a spatula, and go over the edge to make sure that there's nothing hanging off. And it's literally just that simple. And I'm just using a paintbrush to glide the chocolate where I need to. This is just a regular paintbrush that I use on my cakes. Um, you can also get like a specialty pastry brush. And if you don't have a paintbrush um, on hand or you don't have one that you wanna get chocolate all over, you can also just use like a popsicle stick um, it's a little more work, but it gets the job done, too. Okay, so for the hearts, it's literally just the same idea. Pouring in a little bit of chocolate and then taking your stick or your paintbrush and just moving the chocolate all around till it's completely coated. So I just took them out of the fridge. They were in there for maybe four minutes. Um, these firmed up pretty quick. Now to unmold them, it's super duper simple. Yeah, all you do is just pop it right out. It's that simple. It's like seriously that simple. Um, so I'm gonna pop all of these out and then we'll continue with filling them and decorating them. Okay, I have a pan here and I'm gonna put this on the stove for a few minutes just so that it can get a little warm because this is what we're going to use to seal the, um, each half sphere together. Okay, so when it comes to filling these, you're going to have to play around with recipes. Um, I find that a tablespoon of chocolate is a good amount. You don't want it to be too light. Um, you want it to taste like chocolate, so I think a tablespoon is good for that. And then from here, you can just fill it in with whatever you want. Um, I have mini chocolate chips, I have peppermint, and then I have my marshmallows. So what I think I'm gonna do is just fill them to the top with, um, or just make a little mound of the marshmallows. And then I'm gonna add on the mini chocolate chips to the very top after we seal them together. So I'm just gonna try to add in as many as I can. The size that most people do are about three inches, and I think these are two inches if I'm not mistaken. So you can fill a lot more in the three inch spheres. And when you're working with chocolate, I do recommend that you wear gloves just because you don't want to get your fingerprints all over it. But these are just for me, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, now to close your chocolate bombs, we're going to place one of the spheres in the hot pot, and it's going to melt the chocolate down and then just seal up all of the edges. So for the hearts, it's the same concept. Okay 
guys. Now to finish them off, I have white chocolate in a piping bag, and then I also have my chocolate that I use for the bombs. And from here, you can just really do whatever. Um, I'm just gonna do a simple drizzle and then add a few toppings. I don't know what's going on with that last one, but anyway, you guys get the idea. So this is our lineup. Um, this is what we were able to create. I think they came out cute. They're super simple to make, like super duper simple. Um, I'm gonna pour um, hot milk over it and then we'll see what it does. <laughs> So this is what we ended up with. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything, leave it all down below. And yeah, happy holidays, guys.